impractical, inefficient, and expensive. And it's all mine. <laughs>Everybody, welcome to 54 Nights. It is a gloomy day out here. <laughs> it really is. It's hard to get good shots out here today because it is just so gloomy. Okay, before all you Jeepers go nuts and start hammering away at the keyboard, like come on, let's be honest with ourselves. The Jeep Wrangler is not a practical vehicle. A day a day-to-day -day daily driver vehicle. It's just not. I mean, it rides like a truck. And you can't carry a couch in it. Honestly, a truck's not really a great day-to-day -day vehicle either. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get... <laughs> but with a truck, you can haul a couch. Right. You could maybe haul a couch in a Wrangler with a little bit of creative tie-downs. <laughs> It'd be a sight to see. I know I've seen it before. Especially a two-door. And inefficient as far as gas mileage. I mean, come on, whenever gas mileage is brought up about the Jeep Wrangler, there's always some pompous, smart aleck who thinks he's funny... This says, well, if you want gas mileage, maybe you should go with the Prius. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these things get, they're bricks in the wind, you know? They get terrible gas mileage. And, and at least here in Oklahoma, they're in the two or three years that I've been driving since I turned 16. <laughs> Of course. There, there has never been a day where I have gone out on the road and gone, oh, wow, I wish I had four-wheel drive. Never. You know, we were actually looking for a truck without four-wheel drive and having a hard yeah, time yeah. finding one. So, you know. At, now at, we have two. We have an all-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive. Yeah, got the best of both worlds. So, I mean, really, Jeep Wrangler is not a practical vehicle for day-to-day -day driving. Oh, the wind in Oklahoma never stops blowing this time of year. <laughs> but, Isn't there a song about that? Yeah, I, think, I think there might be. <laughs> but, you know, nobody really buys a vehicle like a Jeep Wrangler as a practical vehicle. Um, you don't know that. Somebody might. <laughs> well, um, you know, I fell in love with the Jeep Wrangler, that body style of Jeep, you know, way back when they were CJs. You know, growing up playing with army men and the little green army jeeps, and and, and then get a little bit older and. You were old. I don't think they even have those anymore. Go ahead. <laughs> get a little bit older and you know, Daisy Duke bouncing around Hazard County and a CJ. You know, top down. The, the jeep. Yeah, it was a television show. They couldn't have... Never mind. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, I just... That, that I don't know, that free freedom, that feeling of freedom with the top down, doors off. You know, and, this is coming from the person who rides a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Explains you know, a lot. The, the Jeep Wrangler is actually one of my dream vehicles, one of many dream vehicles. I'm a boy. I mean, come on. You know, Corvette and Mustang. I have and, dream vehicles. Yeah, she does. One of them was a camper. <laughs> That's, well, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, this one actually has a practical use with the motorhome. But how long ago did I order this thing? Uh, how long from today or how long before it came in? <laughs> it was 97 days from the day of ordering till the day it came in. And, you know, there's a good reason for that. There were certain things on this vehicle that I, that I just, I had to have. If I'm going to get this vehicle, if I'm going to pay this much money for a vehicle, I'm going to get what I want. Good reason for you to order, not a good reason for it to take that long to come in. I think that's what it sounded like. Oh, yeah, well... <laughs> Um, but yeah, there. This wasn't a vehicle that I could just pick up off the lot. They even did a search, you know. Well, let's look. I'm sure there's one out there like it. And I'm Chris like, is like, I've already searched yeah, the nation. There, there, it's not out there. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. Okay, so I special ordered this thing. Why? I wanted what I wanted, you know. For years we've gone and we've bought cars off the lot. You get what whatever's on the lot that 
you know, fits most of the bill. You know, this is a dream vehicle for me, so let, let's get exactly what I want, you know? 97 days, yeah, it was a long time. It's worth the wait. I mean, first off, I got the soft top. Really wanted soft top because, you know, we're traveling. And where am I going to put a hard top if I want to pull the top off? Which I like driving around with the top down. This was an awesome decision. This is, this is cool. This makes me want to go out and buy a Jeep when I get home. So we got soft top. And plus, even at home, I mean, I would have to find a place to store it. I, no, I just... And, you know, people, you know, will complain about noise or whatever. I ride a motorcycle. Noise is not going to bother me. And it hasn't at all. I mean, I, I love I love this thing. And it's not that loud. It's really not. It sounds kind of like you got a back window open when you're going down the highway. <clears throat> I got the... Um, keyless entry just not a have to have but it's kind of a cool thing to have of course the Rubicon package which comes with all the off-road goodies you know the this may be a little bit technical talk for some of you non jeepers but it's got the uh, locking diffs on the front and the rear diffs and the sway bar disconnect so that was something i wanted i could have yeah i could have done it on a sport or a sport s or even a sahara i could have done all that stuff after the fact but there's just not enough time in my day as it is so let's just get it all good to go i mean this thing is all jeeps are off-road capable right out of the box but this this one is even more so it sits a little taller and you can get bigger tires without even having to lift it so one of the other things i got was the eight inch uh infotainment screen um that wasn't a necessity again, but it, it comes with the Alpine speakers and for a stock radio system, it actually has a pretty good sound to it. Um, the unfortunate piece of it is, since this is a two door, that so subwoofer takes up any space underneath the uh, floorboard back there. <clears throat> Where on the four door, the subwoofer is on the side, so you still got a little bit of storage underneath the floorboard in the back. Um, I got the stick shift six-speed manual transmission Terry and I have always preferred manual transmissions and you know all our kids grew up I mean, that that's what they learned to drive on was stick stick shift so I mean that's what we got I love it um, of course it's a Rubicon so it comes with the power windows and the dual climate control and all the fancy stuff that you really wouldn't expect in a jeep but um, i mean it's a modern jeep so it's got a bunch of bells and whistles on it two-door soft top rubicon that's really the core to what i wanted the the tow package i wanted the tow package so it came with the hitch on it so we can put a bike rack back there or I, we can pull the cargo trailer over to the house with this um and it comes with some auxiliary switches built in so if i add things like an air compressor or you know not that i'm going to but the lights all the you know big bright led lights if i wanted to i could just hook them up to these auxiliary switches the bare wires are underneath the dash or under the hood you know i could just wire them up real quick with no problem um and that i think that about covers everything that i wanted in this jeep i you know oh we got the tan leather seats and the reason we got the tan leather seats is because this dash panel here this area right here but that that panel is red in a in a rubicon normally uh, when you get the black leather seats but if you 
order the tan leather seats for some reason they don't make that red anymore it's that silver or gray dark gray color um, and Terry and I aren't big fans of red so we get the tan leather seats which by the way is not going to make a flip of difference at least for a few years because I've got seat covers on the way just to protect the leather so you know these seats last a little bit longer for us because I mean we keep our vehicles for a long time and this one I don't anticipate ever getting rid of it and you know I don't anticipate it but um, so let's preserve the interior but I think that's about it um, I do have future plans for it and when I bought it I also um, included in the deal was putting a two and a half inch lift on this 35 inch tires with new aftermarket rims um, that's going to happen sometime soon i need to call them and see what what's up i know they had to order all the parts but, but yeah love it love it love it love it i am glad we are in a position where i could buy this now Okay, we've recorded this video over like the a matter of a week or two. But yeah, that's uh that's my dream vehicle, that the the Jeep Wrangler. And I was going to say take a quick look at it before it's it loses all its stock. But as you can tell, I've had it for a couple of weeks and it's already losing its stock. <laughs> um you know, these Jeep Wranglers make just awesome toads for, you know, pull behind a motorhome. You got a transfer case, you, you kick it into neutral. The steering doesn't lock on it, so you don't have to have the key in the ignition. You know, it's just, and once we get the braking system put in there, this is going to be a breeze. Hook it up, flip the switch, and... So we can even lock it? Yeah. Unlike well, the Subaru? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, Don't but, leave anything valuable in the Subaru. No, because with the Subaru, we had a battery draining problem oh, with it. Yeah, so we would have to disconnect the battery since we had to leave the ignition on. Um, we had some issues with that, too, with have, not being able to get into it at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The trunk, you know, the, the hatch on the Subaru is electronic. There's no key for it at all. So once no you key have, for any of the doors except the front door. Yeah, so, so once you've got the battery disconnected, well, you know. But oh, th this is this is great. I mean, this Jeep is. I I've said it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I've had it for a couple of weeks. I still love it. <laughs> That's good. It's been two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, that's a 2021 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. There we go. Anything you say about it? No, that's good. You like it? I like it. I love my Subaru, but I also like your Jeep. My Jeep's better looking than Subaru. That's not true. Yeah, it is. It's true. <laughs> Catch y'all down the trail. Bye.